It can be used to detect aircraft, ships, and most importantly for us here at the Weather Network, track weather. Radars are spread out all across Canada and Environment Canada has been updating their technology. The entire network uh, is being upgraded and it started in uh, 2017 with uh, Radis in Saskatchewan. That was the first radar that was upgraded. So we're down to the final few. The local radar for the BC interior is getting a whole new makeover and I was lucky enough to check it out in Vernon. Radar uses radio waves to determine distance, also known as ranging, angle and radial velocity of objects. These waves from the transmitter reflect off objects and then return back to the receiver giving information about the object's locations and speeds. Some important new features will be rolled out as of December 15th when the radar becomes available for BC residents and you'll certainly notice the improvements. The radar will now cycle every six minutes instead of every 10. One of the biggest changes is that the Doppler capability of the radar, which is the Doppler means that you can see the winds um, within the atmosphere. Uh, so we can see the storm spinning and motions in the atmosphere. That's been extended from 120 kilometers to 240. So essentially it's been doubled. Another new feature that Canadian radars will now have is something called dual polarization. As there's a signal being sent in the vertical and in the horizontal. So we're getting two different beams being sent out and that helps us discern what the precipitation type is. This new radar at the top of Silver Star is unique as it's one of the only in Canada that points down into the valley to be precise with things like freezing level and precipitation types. Whether it's a hailstone, raindrop or snowflake, this will be a huge add to the community.